Here is some controversial fight advice which made me undefeated. Now for me, I also took this fight advice and applied it for life because it was that good. Now, back in 2019 when I joined Leeds University, I was blessed enough to be a sports scholar for the uni. So I had access to everything a professional athlete could need. This included strength and conditioning, physio, nutritionist, and most important for me was a sports psychologist. Now, I never really thought I needed a sports psychologist. I personally just didn't see the point for me. I'm doing okay, you know? But I thought since I was lucky enough to have this service, I may as well use it. With not knowing what to expect, I booked an appointment and we got to work. The physio got me talking about myself. We talked about my past competitions and experience and he analyzed me. Then came the evaluation and after the result I was shocked I'd even won any fights before. Essentially my subconscious and pessimistic thoughts had taken over. My brain was wired to not lose, not to win and there's a huge difference. You see the brain cannot distinguish the difference between a positive and negative. So if you're thinking I hope I don't lose, losing is imprinted in your subconscious and that was the case for me. So rather than focusing on my physical training, I started to focus on mental training, visualizing the win, reprogramming my subconscious. Because even though it's not talked about a lot, your mental training is equally as important as the physical. You can be the best fighter in the world but if you're not right on a day, you will lose. Since then I remained undefeated for uni and I've overall been a happier person.